Hey guys, welcome to the video. Today we're back at Disneyland. And I think today we're gonna obviously look for new merch like we usually do, but I think I also wanna get off some rides. And then if we have time left over, I think we're gonna head to World of Disney as well. Just like last time, we have to wait for rope drop to happen so we can visit the stores, because right now they're currently closed. Except for Disney Showcase, so we might go in there first. So for the past two weeks, I've been noticing that a lot of this, this like merchandise has been coming in. I just didn't know what it was for, but it turns out it's Aladdin-themed merchandise. <laughs> they have a dress. See, got the flying carpet right there, magic lamp. This dress is $69.99. And then this is the first thing that actually came in. It was this hat. It's by Danielle Nicole. This hat is $29.99. Then they have, I think I showed you guys the headband as well. I've shown you guys this before. And they have this bag. Danielle Nicole. This bag retails for $98. But that's basically everything new inside of Disney Showcase. I think now we're just gonna wait for a rope drop to happen and then we'll head to the Emporium. So we finally got inside of the Emporium and sadly there's nothing new in here today. There is one thing I wanted to show you guys. Uh, the last time I was here I told you guys that the Haunted Mansion merchandise is in the corner over there. They actually moved it from over there to over here and they have the Haunted Mansion Spirit Jersey, the newest ears I showed you guys the other day, and then the other latest years that got released. So after we finished with the Emporium, we ended up going through Disney Clothiers, China Closet, Plaza Point, and sadly there was nothing new in any of those stores today. So we ended up going through Candy Palace to see if there's any new treats today, and sadly there isn't. Um, the, the hand pies and the cookies are the latest thing. Uh, I did learn though that each candy store has their own hand pie. That's why yesterday when I went to DC and I showed you guys Charlie Treats, they had a blue one. Uh, uh, candy Palace has a strawberry one, and then I can't remember the other flavors, but each store has their own hand pie, so that's kind of cool. I would love to go and show each of those one day, but maybe not today. So it seems like today's not gonna be the best day to find new merchandise. So far we haven't had any luck on Main Street, really. Uh, I think we're gonna head to Tomorrowland and check the Star Trader, see if there's anything new in there, and if there isn't, then I think we're just gonna head to our first ride of the day. So we just got to the Star Trader, and you guys remember those, uh, those lightsabers I showed you guys the other day that were uh, Ahsoka Tano's lightsabers? They were here, and looks like they sold out already. See, like they were all here, and there's a bunch of them, and it took two days to sell them out. <laughs> that's crazy. And then here in the phone cases, check it out. I don't remember seeing this one before. It's Obi-Wan versus Darth Vader. This one's $29.99. And looks like they have them for the iPhone 13, 13 and 12 Pro Max, 12 Pro, 11R, and 11. I want to say these are new. I feel like I've never seen these AirPod cases before. They're themed to the Main Street Electrical Parade. They have this one for like the original AirPods for $19.99. Even come like a little clip, which is pretty cool. And they have the AirPod Pro version, which are also $19.99. And then they also have this graphic. And same price. And then again for the AirPod Pros. But anyways, that's basically everything new and cool inside of the Star Trader. There wasn't a whole lot, but uh, I did see that Big Thunder Mountain has a five minute wait right now, so I think we're gonna head there next. So looks like the apple's right. It is only a five minute wait. Big Thunder Mountain is such a good attraction. The only thing I will say is that because of the people in front of me that had like their arms up the entire time, it's kind of hard to get some like good footage of it, but um, I, I got what I could, so sorry about that. So according to the app, looks like Pirates is a five minute wait right now too, so we're gonna head there next. So the app says five minutes, but on the ride itself it says 20 minutes.
<laughs> Easy, boy. Here I be, holding the treasure. Accept this magnificent treasure as my reward for a life of villainy, larceny, skullduggery, and besniggity. Well, we just finished Pirates of the Caribbean, which is honestly one of my favorite rides here at the park. Um, I think we're gonna take a break from the rides and I think we're gonna head to Pooh Corner next. So we just got inside of Pooh Corner and like I mentioned to you guys earlier, each place that sells treats has a different flavored hand pie and over here, uh, the flavor is lemon. And then they also got those new cookies I showed you guys the other day. And then besides that, everything else looks about the same as the other times I've shown you guys the treat display. Well, sadly, it looks like the newest item inside of Pooh Corner was a hand pie I showed you guys. Besides that, they didn't have anything else. We ended up making a quick pit stop over here in Doc Ondar's and it looks like some of the credits that were sold out before have made a comeback. The New Republic credits are back. These are $29.99. We also got the Mandalorian coins back in. $29.99. I think they've had the, the Calamari Flan back in for some time now, but in case you're looking for them, they have them here too. These are $34.99. They've got the Imperial credits for $29.99 and lastly they got back in the Galactic Credits. I actually own these, these are pretty good quality. And these are $29.99. So I ended up making my way back to the Emporium just to see if they've released anything new and they did. They have the new Tiki Room ears. These were not here earlier, so they definitely added them not too long ago. And on the side, it says Enchanted Tiki Room. Here's a look at the back. These ears are $34.99. But anyways, we just made our way back to the hub. I think I'm going to end the video here. Hope you guys enjoyed it. If you guys did, please make sure to like, comment, subscribe, and I'll see you guys in the next one.